Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Grimrock 2. Now, last time we were here, we fought off an army of spiders. Between this episode and the last one, I did come back, uh, feed everybody food, I did kill two more spiders that survived the purge. Looks like I missed one again, though. Dang, spiders, all I'm trying to do is do something different today's episode, but no. Gotta start off by fighting spiders again. Alright, well that's fine, we'll kill some spiders. The other thing I did though is I made some potions for everybody. So we've actually got some healing and mana potions for people who might... There's more spiders! How many spiders? I wonder if they spawned because I killed the uh, the eggs earlier. They all seem to be showing up around those areas where the egg sacs were. So that could be it. This could be my penalty for my ill deeds. There's a lot of spiders around here though all of a sudden. Are there more over here that are going to drop down on me, too? No? Okay, that might be all the spiders now. Let's get out of here, though. We've activated this teleporter earlier. And it puts us right back at the entrance of the area. So there's got to be something else we can do in this area that'll allow us to make some progress here. Because previously, I thought we had to uh, rope down to the lower area to be able to maybe activate something or find some way to progress. But that doesn't seem to be the case now. There seems to be something we can do here that'll allow us to make more progress. So I'm thinking we're gonna try shooting some bolts of light across here. There's a switch there. To see if we can find anything hidden. Like that. Does that help us in any way? I don't know. Probably does, even if we can't tell. But I don't know what it would be. This door is still definitely shut. That might be a switch there too though. Let us send another bolt of light across. No, there's definitely no switch on that one. So that's not probably what that is. Let's take a look around though and see where else might be hiding switches. Something over here perhaps? Do I have a, a more illuminating attack I can send? No, there's stuff over there, but there's nothing that looks like it needs to have a, a switch pressed. What about over that way? I don't see anything from here, and we can make it all the way across to this side. We did open a gate, though. That gate might have actually been exactly what we needed, because I think this is exactly the one we opened. Let's take a look. No, this gate remains firmly shut, sadly. Does this cycle the gates? It does! Oh, it also releases, surprise, surprise, more spiders. All right, well, let's kill some spiders. <laughs> and then, maybe, we'll be able to get on the other side. I wonder if lightning is effective against them. Seems to be. I would assume it is. If spiders are poison elemental, then it would stand to reason that uh, lightning does more damage to them. Obviously, they're not actually the element itself, though, which would be silly. And I accidentally did the wrong spell there. There you go. You get to explode in a burst of lightning, friend. This is literally just a chamber that holds spiders. No, it isn't. That's a secret wall. That's definitely a secret wall. How do we activate it? Something to do with these crystal formations? No. That is definitely a secret wall, though. Yeah, you can see it on the map here, too. Absolutely a secret. I don't know how to open it, though. That doesn't do it. I wonder what does it? Is there a button somewhere that I'm not seeing? There's a throwing axe there. That could be nice if we actually wanted throwing axes. We probably should grab some for our uh, potentially throwing axe centric character, but since they haven't been using them up until now, I'm kind of tempted to just leave them with shurikens. I will grab all of the alchemical ingredients I can though. There's an item on a pedestal which is probably bad news, which means we should immediately grab it and hope for the best. What is this? Another bear pelt. Oh, bear pelts are strength boosting, aren't they? No, they're vitality and cold resist. We don't need another one of those, I don't think. I guess we'll keep it for now. We'll stick it in the, uh, the random junk chest, but I don't think we're actually going to wind up using it. Is there a button on one of these... No. Okay. I wonder how we activate that secret wall, then. Maybe it's activated by picking up this item. That's just a key. 
Something's moving. It is open. I was right. Oh, it's one of those horrible squid beasties. The nasty ones that blind you. Gotta stop using the word beastie. I'm saying that much too much. Okay, he's dead. We're poisoned. We might be blind if we're not careful here. Oh, I backed myself into a corner here. Please kill him incredibly fast. Ah, we're blind. Alright. That was unfortunate. I forgot where I was going and backed myself straight into a corner. Thankfully he's dead now, but now there's more spiders attacking us while we can't see. On the plus side... On the plus side, at least having our vision blocked doesn't actually reduce our accuracy at all. I kind of expected it would. But it definitely doesn't seem to. That is definitely appreciated. Alright, let's just chug a healing potion here to be on the safe side. I don't like wasting them in a non-combat situation like this, but... We don't know what's going to be thrown at us here. Sack, which has some food in it. Okay, well, we'll give that to the Minotaur, as always. These go in your food sacks, sir. And we will chuck the sack away, because we don't need this. Alright, well that was less exciting than I could have hoped. It was just triggered by picking up the key. Now we have to go find what the key is used on, though. That's going to be a problem. Let's just use this throwing dagger here. Throwing knife, rather. That should hold it open for us so we can get back out again. Now, where does that key go? It's got to be somewhere around here that needs a mines key. We've got one ready and waiting. There's probably something over here that uses one. Over that side, maybe? On one of these other platforms. Ah, there it is. There's the mines key we all came for. Alright. Unlocked. Hmm, traps. What a surprise. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look-see here. This switch controls all of this. Now I'm in the way, so I can't cross it. Okay, so I have to go around here then go across like so. That's not too bad. That's actually not complicated at all. This is going to be a problem though. If this causes it to switch, we're going to turn around to force shield this. Yes, we are. All right, let's get the force shield ready. All right, you are not messing with this right now. Thank you very much. I'm not sure how else you'd be able to do that because that is a whole lot of unpleasantness there. It might be worth going down to see what's down there, because this, this doesn't look like it connects to that. So at some point we'll have to come back and check that area out. More spiders up ahead though. Let's just mark this here. Just say below. Because this part here doesn't look like it connects either. Yeah, all of that is separated. Oh, our magical light just went out. Nothing over here, okay. There are more spiders. Oh! There are more spiders over here, and something that can shoot poison. I didn't get to see what shot the poison, but something did. Now it's not safe for us to walk over there either, so this is getting less pleasant by the second. Let's just have you chug one of these so you don't die, and one of these so that you've got mana again. And you're gonna freeze them solid. Thank you. Exactly as I asked. Well, I'm glad I got all those bullets, because we're going through them really fast. I'm surprised we haven't found more interesting guns. Really, I mean, we've been using this musket for most of the game. The cannon is cool and all. But I was hoping for some more diversity in the gun options we'd get. We really haven't gotten any. What is poisoning me? I'd love to know what's hitting me with poison, because I have no idea what it is. Oh, that was not what I meant to do, unfortunately. Do I not have any anti- uh, the anti venoms are the pink ones. I keep expecting them to be green. What is hitting me with poison? Is it a spider? No, it doesn't seem to be. 
You got hit with a fireball. Oh, oh, I saw that this time. Something else is spitting poison across the room. Vanguard leveled up. That's good. Yeah, that one is shooting a poison bolt the other direction. That's what poisoned me. Those guys walking on the poison. Okay, interesting. Well, now we're poisoned again, so we'll use another anti-venom on stopping that. That's interesting. I wonder if we have to do something about that. Or with that, either of those. Any of those words. Thankfully, the spiders are getting weakened by the fireballs and the poison, which makes our life a little bit easier. That's a door up. That's interesting. That might lead up to the thing we've left behind. That's a new bow. A lightning bow. Ooh, very fancy. Let's look at this. Lightning runes are carved, carved on the limbs of this bow. They glow brightly when the bowstring is pulled taut. That'd be really cool if we actually used these. If we used arrows, that'd be an awesome weapon. We don't, though, so we're going to put it back. Does this lead right back to the beginning? It does. Okay, interesting. So we've got a bunch of different paths opened up here. I don't know what this is all about, though. This weird bi-directional path. Ooh, a meteor helmet. Yes, please. Hold on to that for later. You are just waiting to level up still. Good. This dark metal helmet seems to be shaped from a single block of meteor stone. We have all of it except for the gloves now, actually. That's pretty cool. We have a whole set of meteor armor. We have the whole set of crystal armor? No, we're still missing the mirror legs. I don't know where they are. Hmm. Let's give you critical now so you can backstab with daggers. Since you're using a dagger anyway, we get the most benefit out of that already. And we can go back up now. Let's go up and see what's up there. We've actually cleared out the whole ground floor here much faster than I expected we would. I kind of thought it was going to be a larger area. Let's, uh... Let's be cautious, though. Just because we're up here again doesn't mean that we're home free. We could easily be approaching a boss room or some other kind of nastiness. Everything being quick so far does not mean that we're... not going to have to deal with something unpleasant now. Sausages? Okay. Highly unpleasant. Speed potions. Oh, devilishly unpleasant. Let's take these out of your inventory and put them in the potion bag. Because honestly, you're not going to use them at the moment. So I'm just going to put them in here. And that way, they're actually uh, being a bit more useful for us. I should make some more healing potions, though. Because if we get attacked by something big, a lot of people in our party don't have healing. That's a switch. Ah! Makes a glowy bridge. And that's a power gem. Only missing one more. There's a gold key he Oh! <gasps> that's exactly what I wanted! It's a new gun! Oh, baby, we're using a gold key on this. It's been ages since we found a new gun. Bad things? Nope, we're good. A repeater. 19 to 57 damage. That's better. And you can rapid fire. Hold down attack button to use. Requires firearms 5. Oh, wow. That looks awesome. Normal attack is a 6 second cooldown. And you can spam bullets with it if you want. Yes, please. Okay. We got a new gun. Finally. I was just talking about that. It's, this has been the area of just talking about things and having them happen. We talked about the meteor hammer. We got a meteor hammer. We talked about getting a new gun. We got a new gun. It's like they're listening. Awesome. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back down again. I know we've basically cleared this area now. There's still this chest over here we have to figure out how to get to. But uh, that's probably done something like throwing a rock from here or whatever. But what we want to do is come down here now. And on this level, see what happens if we go down these holes. Because we haven't done that before, and it did seem to lead to somewhere out, somewhere different. That was dumb of me. So let's grab our rope, and when the door opens again, we're going to tunnel our way down. Oh, you've been injured. Dummy. Alright, I'll give you a new potion. 
or two. There you go. Now everyone's got potions again. Need one more for you, Vanguard. We're running seriously low on potion ingredients. We need to stop taking so much damage. All right. Next opening, down we go. Climbing down. Oh, good. Oh, good. What do we do down here? I have a feeling this only pops up after we move off of it, but I want to keep moving just to make sure that I don't get myself in more trouble than I need to. How do I get in there? Those boots look fancy. I want to figure out how to get in there. I don't see any switches I can pull on any of these walls or any buttons that would allow me to make any of their progress. Oh, we're back up at the top now. Okay, let's try one of these holes instead. Ah, I'm outside the trap. Okay, well that's not helpful. I'm guessing we have to drop down the last one. No, that's outside the puzzle. Okay, there's something down here we have to be able to solve then. We have a challenge. Challenge is set, let's see if we can solve it. Is there a button on the outside? No. There's no button on the outside. It looks like we may actually have to be in the puzzle to be able to actually interact with it. Unless this is a trick, but it's not. So there's something in the spike room that we have to figure out. Okay, back in we go then. I can safely stand there and tank that to the face. Now, I may just try and rope down here. Let's let this go past and we'll rope down. So it does get you if you stand still. Ow. Okay. It gets you pretty hard if you stand still. Yeah, I don't know what we're looking at here. Not that. Not sure how we're supposed to interact with this, honestly. Ah, there's the button. Alright, found it. Job done. And we're across. Archmage's Loafers. What do you know? Protection plus three, willpower plus one, resist all plus ten. Considerable magical energy has flown through has flowed through these well worn enchanted loafers. Fantastic. Alright, we got some new boots. We have a thing with the rest of our rogue set in it, yeah? There it is. Okay. And a crystal shard of healing again. We got a bunch of these. Heals all wounds and raises dead champions back to life. This is like an emergency super heal. These are item recharges, and these are group protection. Okay, right. We've been holding on to these for a long time. We've never really needed them. <clears throat> There's been once or twice we probably could have used the blue crystal, though. Grab a drink of water, so my voice isn't quite so sore. You're over-encumbered again. <clears throat> That's not good. You need to, uh... Oh, it's super dark now. That's not good either. It's dark. You are likely to be eaten by a Gru. Let's get a real torch in here then and dump this one. It's no good when both your visibility items go at the same time. I could get rid of some of your bombs, but I don't really want to get rid of your bombs. If your notes don't weigh anything and your staff weighs very little. These weigh nothing. You're just super weak. That's all there is to it. It's mostly the bombs, I'm assuming, because that's what he's carrying that weighs the most. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, de hmm. What is causing this pinging? If only I knew. If only I knew. All right. Let us. What can we clear out of your inventory? I guess it's just the bombs that we use. Give your bombs to Sheld. Now he's over encumbered. He's actually at his max right now. <laughs> Did not notice that. That's too many. That should hold off for now. I don't really want to leave you with this many bombs. Can I put a couple of these back? Yes. Okay, good. That'll have to do for now. Now we can get out of this place with our boots in hand. Fantastic. Now all we have to do is get out of here again, which we... Oh. 
can do if we just cast a force field in here again. Nice try, sucker. You're not doing anything to me. Okay, let's get out of here without hitting the button so that we don't shoot ourselves with silly damage. There we go. And uh, we can make our way out now. Now, I think we want to go up here, actually. So that we can get back around this way faster. Because from here we made the magic bridge, but we actually want to go over here again. So let's go over this way and see if that uh, chest turns out to be a mimic after all, if we can figure out how to get into it. Now, did we get over there? I don't know if we did that. Um... Oh yeah, we definitely got over there. That was a secret item that we found earlier. Okay. Let's head over this way. We should be able to get a... Oh, this is the wrong door. Where, where am I going? I need to go to that side. Am I even on the right floor? Right now? No, I'm not. I need to go up a floor. That would explain why I was confused. Okay, let's go back up the, le the stairs here. There's probably going to be something nasty waiting for us since we've gotten the power gems from down here. And they like to ambush you with enemies, but it looks like maybe not this time. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go around. Hey, spiders, you're back again. My favorite enemies. I'll have to try out that repeater soon, but I don't want to waste it on this guy since we've got so few bullets left. I wish there was a way to make bullets. I wish so badly. Okay, back around. we got to go through this way. More spiders await. It's got to just be a switch, doesn't it? Oh, a backstab for 156. That was our first exciting backstab. I'll take it, though. That was a huge damage boost. That was awesome. Alright, we got to find some way to get across to here. This is the second uncrossable tiny gap that we've had to deal with. Where there just doesn't appear to be any way to get across... More spiders are coming. Alright. Look, spiders. You think you're cool and all, but you're not. You're just spiders. Whoa! Okay, that was a cool ability. Super wasteful, though, because there's very little damage, as far as I can tell. Those were all much less than it should have done. Those were all like 16s and stuff on the damage rolls, which is not great. Normally, no, that was a crit, so that's hard to say really what it normally does. But I'm pretty sure it normally does more than that. Yeah, it's a 40 damage hit, so that was like 60 damage total using up like 8 bullets. So it's a cool weapon, but the Gatling fire ability seems very wasteful, unfortunately. Okay, so we're looking for secret buttons or something that'll allow us to actually cross this gap to get over to that treasure chest. First of all, though, we're going to try this. There's nothing out there. Okay. Nothing secret below us either, as far as I can tell. There's just got to be something on this floor that we're not seeing that allows us to cross this gap. No hidden buttons on there. So far, we have yet to find a hidden button randomly in the rock face. I don't think there's anything over there behind it. Doesn't look like it anyway. No secret buttons on here so far, no. Nothing there. There's... There's just gotta be a way across. I just don't know what it is. That's a hole. That goes up into the ceiling. Hmm, I wonder if you can go up there. What's directly down from here? That ledge is directly underneath, so directly down is just the floor. So that doesn't make sense. I wonder how we get up to that chest, though. There's got to be a way. Are you serious? Are you serious? That was all it was? I was so psyched up for this big secret, and it was nothing. Alright, are you a mimic? No. You have the meteor gauntlets in you. I could have had those ages ago. I think we have the whole set now. Let's put on the whole meteor set. These, the bulky joints and thick metal sheets make it difficult to bend your fingers, but the protection these gauntlets offer is almost unbeatable. Meteor gauntlets, meteor helm, meteor chest, meteor greaves. Ooh, baby. And meteor hammer. <laughs> you can't use that. 
Oh, and the meteor shield, too, of course. Oh, look at that! <gasps> look at that! They burst into flame! That's so cool! I wonder why that is. Let's give this back to you. You can you can actually use it. Are you double injured? No, you're just single injured. Wow, I wonder what caused that. Let's take this and put it there. It looks awesome. I wonder if it does anything. Fire resist 100. Ho 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 ho! That makes you immune to fire! That is too cool. Okay, we're gonna use that for a while. If we can get the full crystal set, we'll try that too and see what it does. But, uh... That is some cool business. We're gonna leave that sword behind here, because I don't think we're ever gonna use it. Is it better than this one? 1237? 824? Uh, not even. Not even. I could give the potion bag away, but that's not enough weight off. These things are heavy. Man, we're just, we're just over-encumbered, in general. We've got other bracers I could give you, though, don't we? Do we have one that makes you stronger? This one makes us stronger, but I'm already using that one. Because the, the buckler you're using is awful. I can give you the hardstone bracelet, and it's just a straight upgrade from the buckler. I don't know why we're still using it. That's too heavy. Okay. So this is garbage now. The buckler is basically worthless. What else could we get? Do we have any other brace arm items I could equip you with? It doesn't seem that way. Looks like we've used up most of them. Huh. Well, that was pretty cool. <laughs> that is that is super cool, actually. You wear the entire meteor set, and you are actually wreathed in flame. That is awesome. We've got to use that now. I wonder if other sets do that. Like, does the ninja set do it? Does the embalmer set do it? Like, we've missed the gloves. Does the Archmage set do it? I bet you the Mirror set does it. It's all been very hidden. All throughout the world. That is too cool. Too cool. Alright, well we can get rid of some of these items, I guess. Like, if I take off... Like, the chest piece, that means that you're no longer over-encumbered. So I can put that in one of your boxes. You're getting over-encumbered now too, though. We have too much weight, too many cool things in our inventories. Hmm. I don't know what to do with all this. Right now, I think we're just going to leave it there. We'll sort of sluggishly move our way out of this dungeon. Although I don't like that either, because if we move out of here and it turns out that there's full of nasties, then we are going to get absolutely destroyed as soon as we actually run into anything, because we're so slow. But I mean, we have leg injuries and stuff already too, so this is just bad news all around as far as I can tell. Oh, okay though, I think we're actually done in here. I think we finished the crystal caves, that means there's only... There's only one power gem left. And I don't know where it is. It's probably in the castle, if I had to guess. There's still this orb to get too, which we still haven't figured out. And there's still some secrets left to go find, so we're probably gonna start doing that soon. Start working on finding unusual secrets that we've left for far too long, because uh, they might have some cool stuff in them if we can find them. They could definitely have some cool things. If we try and struggle our way out of here, where are we going? We're going out that way, yes. Because we could come out over here, but we don't actually want to go back to the beginning, do we? Well, we kind of do. We kind of want to go to the Forgotten River, don't we? So that actually might be better. But that's, that shortcut is from going underneath. We actually want to go back to the entrance anyway. It's so easy to get lost in these areas. Especially after you've been through a bunch of different ones. There's so many options as to where you can actually go. Alright, so we're going to drop down here, climb up the other side, come out the other secret door, get to that checkpoint. And then we can head over to the castle, maybe, and see what's actually inside the castle with our four elements. Look at all these rocks. Paradise. Alright. Save and heal up. You're still over encumbered, we we'll have to deal with that. But look at all these other bags and bits of junk that we've left behind. <laughs> we have so much room for more, more things to be dropped. I think we are going to drop the lightning sword, really. It's got a lightning element to it, which is cool. I think I'm just going to add it to the pile here. 
And that brings us back down to the appropriate level. So that's good. Are there other nasty things out here again? There are wargs out here again, but they're little ones. Probably not too dangerous. Oh no, they're pretty tough. They don't die too easy. They don't give you a whole lot of experience, but they don't die too fast. Alright, well, I think what we're going to do is we are going to go all the way back to the beach. Just chill out on the beach for a bit, and we'll end our episode there. We've got some go some more secrets to go hunt for, but uh, that is going to take us quite some time, so I'm not too worried about that. These enemies are tough, actually. They don't die as quickly as I expected them to when we came back with super powerful weapons. I kind of figured these early enemies would just melt, but they don't. It takes more than one attack. And a beautiful beach adventure it is. Back where it all began, by the giant shipwreck. Hey, turtles. Is that just turtle sounds? Was that something weird? You know, I think since you're never expected to come back here, there might be something really creepy waiting here on the beach for us. So I feel like looking for it first. Let's just see if there's anything terrible that has appeared on the starting beach. Since we were last... Oh, we got a backstab kill achievement. Since we were last here. Come right back to our cage and see what's happened. Oh, so long ago that we were once here. No, there's nothing here. That's too bad. I was hoping there'd be something suitably spooky, but it looks like we're out of luck on that front. I don't think there's any secret passages or anything for us to take around here. They might be able to go out deeper into the water. No. That's as far as it goes. Alright, guys. Well, thank you for watching. We've been playing a little bit more uh, Legend of Grimrock 2 today. If you've enjoyed our continued adventures as we try to accomplish everything this game has to offer, let me know about in the comments below, and we'll continue to explore in the next episode, even if you don't do that thing I just said. <laughs> Either way, thank you very much for watching, guys, and look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye